Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today, um, well yesterday's video, a uh, targeted truth finder, a viewer of the channel, had asked in the comment section if I could make a video about armor and wearing five pieces, is it better? And I always forget that, you know, when you first start this game, it's just mind-boggling how complicated it is. There's so much to remember and know. And uh, I was like CP300. And I finally got it that it was actually heavy was health, medium was stamina, and light was magicka. It just hit me one day. I was in a dungeon, Darkshade Caverns, we are fighting those Netch. And I was like, oh, I get it. Yes, I am a slow learner. <laughs> People had told me, and then it just goes in one, in, in one ear and out the other. Just don't, don't remember that kind of stuff, at least me. So I know a lot of people, they might not know, like when you're, when you're wearing heavy armor, it's going to be mostly health. But there's a lot of variations, like a lot of times when I'm doing a PvP build... I might wear heavy armor, but then I'll put stamina enchants on it, so I have a higher stamina. And then I just use the passives. So in this game, there's also, like, crazy amount of passives that are really important. Um, like in the skills, my Undaunted is level 10. That's the highest you can be. And if you look here, these are good. The synergies. And I can talk about that another time. But this is huge. This is the... You have two points. When you first do it, if you just put one point, it's 3%. When you put two, it's 6%. Increases your max health, stamina, and magic by 2% per type of armor, heavy, medium, or light that you have equipped. And my current bonus is 6%. So that means my magicka, stamina, and health are all 6% more than if I didn't wear one piece of medium and heavy. So if we look at my gear and my inventory... See, I wear a Elambrus mask is a medium, and then my shoulders is a heavy, but I have maximum magicka enchants on both those, and then everything else, the necropotence, is light, because I want to have high magicka. If you're a tank, you'd wear five heavy, and then you'd wear one medium, one light of whatever monster helm. You don't always have to wear the same set of the monster helm, like on my wear, well... I did change up my werewolf. I put on Barlog, and it's like way better. And I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that later. But um, now, asking about is it important to wear five pieces of the same set for this? Absolutely, because if, if just two items is uh, 1,096 maximum magicka. Three is another 1,096 maximum magicka. Four is another 1,096. But the fifth piece, while I have my pet active. Is 3,150 and everything's golded out. So that's why it's for Necropotence, you know, it's like really crazy to have it. And the Netch is the same thing. I wear the, I'd have two lightning staves and the jewelry. And so for two items is 813 spell, three items is 1,071 magicka, and then four is again spell damage, and then five. It's 391 spell damage to your shock damage abilities. And this guy's like all about shock, the vaults are from there and everything. So it's really powerful. So, you know, but if we look at like New Moon Acolyte, right? Let's say uh, we go here, we go to creation. I've got it set on 160. And then, um, as you can see, I'm out of Ancestor. So. so if we were to do a medium, I got lots of Rubido though. Uh-huh. So, let's say a lot of people, they'll actually even just wear four items of this. Like, front bar, maybe if it's a bow build, like on my, um, on my night blade. Some people were saying I should put potentates on the back bar for the great sword. And then you don't have that. Increases the cost of your active abilities by 5%. But that last five item is adds 420 weapon and spell damage and that's huge that's why this set is crazy because it does it's good for magicka or stamina not so good for health uh tank set but what are you gonna do there's lots of good tank sets so it doesn't matter but i think 
it, it just depends really but when you're first starting out if you can do five sets five pieces it's really important and a lot of the sets will be like if it's um necropotence that's all light because i farmed it if you make it like new moon acolyte you could just make it whatever you want you know like i'm getting ready to make uh because my werewolf i have a, I have a medium helmet, which is Barlog. I bought it in Cyrodiil at the Golden Vendor. I have a medium helmet and a medium shoulder. And then my armor's medium. So what I need to do... Or maybe I have a he heavy helmet. No, I have a heavy pauldron. That's it. I have a heavy pauldron. I'm going to keep that and keep the helmet because I am that dungeon super hard. And then I'm just going to make a piece of light like maybe the sash. I'll just make a light sash and put a stamina enchant on it and then run that. So I'll get the um, the bonus from Undaunted. Now, maybe a lot of people don't like to run dungeons, but really, you should do it. The reason is you can get so much gear out of dungeons and not only can you get a lot of gear out of it, it's great practice how to play under fire. So like, if you go into a dungeon, I know a lot of people say, oh, if I do the dungeon finder, I get kicked out. It's really best to join a guild. Join a guild and just talk to the people. Just play with them. They'll help you. It's like a lot better. You run into some weirdos, like I run into that dude, and he's like a stalker. But I just blocked him. He can never talk to me again. It doesn't even matter, you know? And like yesterday, some people were thinking maybe I'm upset. <laughs> I'm not upset. I think it's hilarious. Because I just tell all my kids and my wife, and then they all just laugh and just, like, think it's hilarious. So, you know, if you run into people you don't like, you can just block them. You can even block them when you're in the guild. I have a lot of people in the trade guild I'm in that I don't like them, and I just block them. And I never see them in chat. It doesn't matter, you know. So, it's not like anybody's going to tell you, oh, you blocked that guy. Why? If you do, you just say, I don't like him. That's good enough. But for me, I think the standard, they call it 511, which just means five pieces of your main attribute and then one of each one. So five pieces of the, for me, would be five pieces of light, one medium, and one heavy. Okay, and then you just put, like, since I'm magic, I just put magic on everything. And you can mix it up, like, you know, glyphs are really important and you want to have those on your character when you're little you get them for free and then just put them on there but you but you want to probably run five pieces of the same set if you can if you're leveling up if you can get somebody to make you training gear you know maybe make you new moon acolyte gear and it's really hard to level up as a tank i'm gonna say that straight up the best way to do it like if you're a dragon knight and you're trying to level up it's really best if you just like make him either be a magic or a stam dragon knight and then you know, go do that and kill the stuff and get him leveled up and then change him over because it's so hard to kill stuff when you are just got a lot of health. And then you're not, unless it's some weird, you know, hybrid breed uh, build and you know how to do that. But if you don't know how to do it and you're asking questions about like, oh, what does it mean about the armor and stuff? Probably that's the best way to do it. But, um, you know, these are good sets. This... New Moon is great as a beginning set. This one too, mechanical, uh, mechanical acuity. If you don't have, and over here, shackle breaker. I love shackle breaker. You know, if we look at the clothing, this is awesome. If we look at this creation, just look at all these attributes. Two items is 112 weapon damage. Three items is 112 spell damage. That's not that great because, you know, I mean, weapon and then you got to have three to do spell. So as a two piece or three pieces for a little guy, it's not that good. Four items is stamina recovery and four items is also magicka recovery. So it's great for dragon knights. Five is maximum stamina and five items is also maximum magicka. So it's great for um, sustain. And, you know, I've run a lot. I've run shackle breaker quite a bit a lot of times i'll do it heavy new moon acolyte shackle breaker is great set 
Uh, I redid my werewolf today. And just a little bit of putting Barlog on there is crazy. My weapon damage is like 5,600 when I'm in werewolf form for the first 10 seconds. And then even just with the helmet on because it adds spell damage, it's up to like 4,900 something. I'm doing like 30,000 roar. And heavy attacks are up to like 19, 20,000. So it's coming along. I'm going to keep working on it. But if you don't know really about what to do, you're not like an experienced player. I think you should try to get the five pieces. Dungeons are a good way to do it. Overland sets, you know, you can look up online like what's good overland sets. I don't really know specifically. Like if you're a tank, Plague Doctor is a super easy set. And then you can go farm Evan from uh, Crypt of Hearts. Evan and Plague Doctor together is an old standard set that is going to be great if you're trying to make a tank. You can get through any dungeon, even vet dungeons with, with that set on. It's fantastic. I mean, my dude does Plague Doctor and Fortified Brass, but I'm not, you know, I'm a Necro Orc, so I'm super tough. But to me, I always like to have the five piece. And then with the monster sets, I usually like to have the proc. That's what it's called. Um, the set will proc and have some special effect come out. For me, it's a Lambrus. Is, uh, the lightning will come out. If you're a Magicka character, this is a really great set. The Lambrus. Easy to get. One item is Magicka. And then number two is when you do a flame or shock damage, you have a 10% chance to summon a meteor shower of that damage type. And it deals 1,661 damage for five seconds. Every second for five seconds. So, you know, it's like 6,000 something. And it can occur every eight seconds. So if you're firing a lot of, um, you know, when I'm doing my AOEs, all that 12 seconds is going to count. The 12 seconds of me laying down my wall of elements is going to count in that shock damage. So it procs quite a bit, about every eight seconds, actually. So these are only for vet, of course. And the shoulders come from the Undaunted. You buy the boxes and get it out of there. But if you're not vet yet, you can always just put a two-piece on, mechanical fundament. If, you know, like the two-piece bonus for this is good. Do a medium. So two pieces adds 112 weapon damage. And that could be a head and a shoulders. That's fantastic. If you do, you gotta have three to have this spell damage. But if you're a stamina character, Mechanical Acuity comes from Clockwork City. I like it a lot. The other one is Innate Axiom. It's kind of like the ma magic version of that. I might put that in here as the next the next table set or Law of Julianos. That's a really solid set too. Comes from Rothgar. Um, I can talk about sets in another video if y'all are interested. I don't know if this answered your question when you talked about the five pieces. Just remember, heavy is health. And... You know, unless it's like a special set. Heavy usually is a heavy set's going to be health. Oh, I know. I need to show you guys the skills and the passives. Passives in this game are huge. They're just like such an enormous thing. So you can see we have light armor, medium armor, medium armor, and heavy armor passives. I have I, put, I have a lot of skill points. I still have 18, nothing to do with them. So if we look here, a lot of people may not even know that you have to put these in here. And like this is... For light armor, I have all of these. Now look at this. Reduces snares by 4%. My current bonus is 20% when people try to lock me down. It reduces the cost of my sprint by 3%. So it's my bonus is 15 because I have three points. Then it increases magical recovery by 4% for each light. So I got a 20% magical recovery. And reduces the cost of my abilities by 10%. I mean, it's like enormous. Spell resistance, and then it's 1,800. That's just okay, but increases spell critical rating, 2,191. That's huge. And increases spell penetration by 4,884. Also huge. But these bottom ones need to have five or more. See? When five or more pieces of light armor are equipped. So that's another reason to have five of whatever it is you're running. If you're stamina, you're going to want to do the medium. 
Some of them work without it. I mean, I have like lots of skill points. So I'll put it into like Wind Walker and stuff like that. I put it into Athletics, which was a huge mistake. But it doesn't matter. I can just take it out. So these are also huge. You know, you want to just... If you're wearing five light armor, you definitely want to have that. If you're wearing five medium, you want to have this. And if you're wearing heavy, you need to have these in here. Okay? Just like with... Um, the Undaunted here in the Sigic Order. I went and did Sigic Order and I opened up the the um, Ultimate. I, wore, I run the Ultimate on my front bar and then I just put the passive for Concentrated Barrier. So when I do this and I block, I get that. And that's like a 5,000 damage shield. So with this, 10,000. And then that's like 15,000 damage blocked. So... Passives are huge. And remember, heavy, health, medium, stamina, light, magicka. There's all kind of different ways to do it, but that's just the basics. So hopefully that answered your question, targeted truth finder. And I'm ready for some more questions if anybody has them. So give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And please leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that... I can help you with or if you want me to make a video about something or you just want to say hi hit me up on xbox one north american server my name is k-o-d-c-h-a-o-t-e-y hit me up we can go run around but please don't write me 39 messages on the xbox chat <laughs> and until that time let's get paid